Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Sophia Scholl was a German student, active in the White Rose, a non-violent resistance group to Hitler and the Nazi party. In 1943, she was caught delivering anti-war propaganda and, with her brother Hans Scholl, was executed for high treason. Sophie Scholl has become an important symbol of anti-Nazi resistance in Germany. Sophie Scholl was born in Forchtenberg, Germany on 9 May 1921. She was the fourth out of six children. Her father Robert was the Burgermeister, Mayor, of Forchtenberg am Kocker, in Baden-Württemberg. She was brought up as a Lutheran Christian, and her childhood was relatively happy and carefree. However, in 1933, Hitler came to power and began controlling all aspects of German society. Initially, Sophie was unaffected, but her father and brothers were critical of the Nazi regime, and this political criticism filtered through to leave a strong impression on the young Sophie. At the age of 12, she joined a pseudo Nazi organization, the League of German Girls. Initially, Sophie enjoyed the activities of the group, and she was promoted to squad leader. However, after her initial enthusiasm with the activities of the group, Sophie became uneasy about the conflict between her conscience and the creeping Nazi ideology of the organization. In 1935, Nuremberg laws were passed which increased the discrimination against Jews, banning them from many public places. Sophie complained when two of her young Jewish friends were barred from joining the League of German Girls. She was also reprimanded for reading from the Book of Songs by the banned Jewish writer Heinrich Heine. Scholl indicated her rebelliousness by replying that Heine was essential for understanding German literature. These incidents and the bans against Jews led to Sophie taking a much more critical attitude to the Nazi regime. She began choosing friends more carefully, people who were politically sympathetic to her viewpoint. In 1937, her brothers and some of her friends were arrested for participating in the German youth movement. This incident left a strong impression on Sophie and helped to crystallize her opposition to the Nazi regime. In 1942, her father was later sent to prison for making a critical remark about Hitler. He referred to Hitler as God's scourge. Sophie was an avid reader and developed an interest in philosophy and theology. She developed a strong Christian faith which emphasized the underlying dignity of every human being. This religious faith proved an important cornerstone of her opposition to the increasingly all-pervading Nazi ideology of German society. Sophie also developed a talent for art, a drawing and painting, and she became acquainted with artistic circles which, in Nazi terms, were labeled degenerate.In 1940, after the start of the Second World War, she graduated from her secondary school and became a kindergarten teacher at the Frobel Institute. However, in 1941, she was conscripted into the Auxiliary War Service working as a nursery teacher in Bloomberg. Sophie disliked the military regime of war service and started to become involved in passive resistance to the war effort. After six months in the National Labor Service, in May 1942, she enrolled in the University of Munich as a student of biology and philosophy. With her brother Hans, she became associated with a group of friends who shared similar artistic and cultural interests, but also developed shared political views, which increasingly opposed the Nazi regime they lived in. She came into contact with philosophers such as Theodore Hecker, who posed questions of how individuals should behave under a dictatorship. The White Rose was an informal group who sought to oppose the war and Nazi regime. It was founded in early 1942 by Hans Scholl, Willier Graf and Christoph Probst. They wrote six anti-Nazi resistance leaflets and distributed them across Munich. Initially, Sophie was not aware of the group, but when she found out her brother's activities, she was keen to take part. Sophie participated in distributing leaflets and carrying messages. As a woman, she was less likely to be stopped by the SS. However, there was a pervasive police state which kept a high degree of surveillance on any resistance activity. 
After leaflets had been found at the University of Munich, the local Gestapo stepped up its efforts to catch the resistors. Hans, Willy and Alex also began painting anti-Nazi slogans on buildings in Munich. On 18 February, 1943, Sophie and other members of the White Rose were arrested for distributing anti-war leaflets. The leaflets were seen by Jacob Schmidt, a local Nazi party member. Sophie and Hans were interrogated by Nazi officials and, despite trying to protect each other, just four days later were sent to court. The trial was presided over by Roland Freisler, Chief Justice of the People's Court of the Greater German Reich. Freisler was an ardent Nazi, with great vigor and a manic intensity, he frequently roared denunciations at the accused. Despite the hostility and appearing in court with a broken leg after her interrogation, no defense witnesses were called and, after a very short trial, the judge passed a guilty verdict, with a sentence of death. The sentence was to be carried out early the next morning by guillotine, Walter Romer, the chief of the Munich District Court, supervised the execution, he later described Sophie's courage in facing her execution. The guards were impressed with the courage of the resistors and relaxed the rules to allow Hans, Christoph and Sophie to meet before their execution. After the execution of Sophie, Hans and Christoph, the Gestapo continued their relentless investigation. Other members of the White Rose were caught and executed. Many students from the University of Hamburg were either executed or sent to concentration camps. In a poll to find the greatest German, Sophie and her brother were voted to be fourth. Amongst the young generation, under 40, they were the most popular. On February 22, 2003, a bust of Sophie Scholl was unveiled by the government of Bavaria in the Valhalla Temple. In 2005, a movie about Sophie Scholl's last days was made featuring Julia Gench, Sophie Scholl, The Final Days. Several factors inspired Sophie Scholl to take part in this highly dangerous resistance. Firstly, her family shared a dislike of the Nazi regime. Both her brothers and father had been arrested for making critical comments. She lived in a family environment which encouraged opposition to Hitler. Sophie had a strong Christian faith and was motivated after hearing speeches by anti-Nazi pastors. She read two volumes of Cardinal John Henry Newman's sermons which made a strong impression on Sophie, especially his sermon on the theology of conscience. During her interrogation, she referred to this ideology as a defense. Her boyfriend Fritz Hartnagel was on the Eastern Front, he reported to Sophie the dreadful conditions of war the German failure at Stalingrad and also witnessing war crimes undertaken by German and SS forces. Reports of mass killings of Jews were also widely shared amongst members of the White Rose. This features in the second White Rose pamphlet. Sophie Scholl and other members of the White Rose remain a potent symbol of how people can take a courageous action to resist, even the most brutal totalitarian regime.